Hey guys, welcome back to Haze Tech. Today I'm going to be reviewing this tiny little toy drone. I want to start off this video with a disclaimer. Different areas of the world have different laws on when and where you can and cannot fly a drone. So before you go any further on purchasing any drone, make sure to check your local legislation to make sure that everything is good. This is the Akaso A300, or at least I think that's how it's pronounced. It's a generic brand drone, but it is surprisingly good for the money. Amazon currently has this thing listed at $69.99, but there is a $15 coupon code as well as another coupon code for two free replacement batteries. This, in my mind, is a killer deal and a no-brainer pickup for that son or daughter of yours that loves technology. If you're a photographer, videographer, or just somebody who wants to get into the hobby of drones, this ain't it, Chief. But if you're a parent of a kid who needs a gift for Christmas or a birthday, or you're just a kid at heart who just wants to have some fun, this is the drone for you. This little drone is a lot of fun, and if you're buying it as a gift for somebody, you can rest assured that they're not gonna just play with it for 20 minutes and then be done. This is something they're gonna wanna pull out a lot. And so, in my opinion, it's an incredibly worthwhile gift. It's really durable, comes with extra propellers if you happen to break some, as well as propeller guards for flying in the house. And yes, it is good for flying in the house because it won't damage anything. When I was flying it around, it would hit walls, it would hit objects, and it'd knock them down, but nothing would be damaged. The drone is also really durable, so you can throw it in a backpack, for example, go about your day, and then when you want to pull the drone out, pull the drone out. But for the rest of the day, you're not lugging around a big heavy thing. You kind of forget that it's even there. The drone also has this nifty little feature where you can grab it under the drone while it's flying and then flip it over to turn off the drone, which is a nice and easy way to just reset everything. Now it may seem like I am singing the praises of this drone and I think that there are no flaws, but that's simply not the case. There are a number of issues, most notably with the connection between your phone and the drone as well as the controller and the drone. Whenever the drone goes down or shuts off or whatever, you have to turn the controller off and then back on to connect back to it. And with your phone, it sends out a Wi-Fi signal and you have to reconnect to the Wi-Fi every time because it's a different Wi-Fi name. The drone also isn't incredibly steady and it doesn't have any sort of wind compensation to keep it in place on a windy day. But these issues weren't that big of a deal until you're in a confined space like inside where you're crashing into walls all the time. There are a number of problems that can occur when you crash into a wall with this drone. The arms can fold back in, throwing off the whole balance of the drone as well as the battery can pop out, which as I mentioned before means you have to reconnect the controller and your phone every time that this happens. And this definitely happens more often than I would like. <laughs> Bring it down. <laughs> Not in the trees. I already lost one in the trees. Landed it! Woo! Let's take a moment to talk about the camera. Amazon lists it as a 1080p sensor, and I'd be inclined to agree with them looking at the video but there are a number of issues. Firstly, you can't articulate it with the controller. You have to set the angle you want it at before you fly, which is a little frustrating, but totally serviceable. The other thing that is just serviceable about the camera is the video quality. It suffers from a lot of compression, so you get some weird data artifacts and it's really oversaturated. So I wouldn't recommend this for any sort of aerial photography or videography, but for a toy, for your kid, or whatever, this is totally serviceable for what it is. Personally, I would use the camera more for directions and making sure that you're flying the drone the correct way because it live streams the video to your phone over a pretty solid connection that isn't too low frame rate or anything like that. It's totally, totally manageable 
and you can really fly just by looking at the screen. You don't even have to look in the sky. Another feature that is listed on the Amazon page is a GPS return. Um, I tried a number of times to get this to work and it just wouldn't. Every time I pressed the button, it would fly off in some random direction pretty far away from me. Uh, usually hitting a wall and I just I found that it just wasn't good so usually I would direct it myself but this isn't a necessary feature so I'm not salty or upset that this feature doesn't work as well as they claim it does it's at this point in the video that I'd like to remind you that it is not cool or okay to use a device like this to spy on your neighbors we were flying here behind our house because it blocked the wind. This wasn't to see if we could f see through the window or anything like that. This was just because the wind was getting really bad and we were having trouble keeping the drone in the air. So we went behind a big flat surface that would block that wind. It may seem like I've laid out a lot of issues, but in my opinion, these are all manageable, serviceable issues that do not break the experience of flying a drone. This is an incredibly fun toy, and missing out on those features doesn't take away from that. Because it pretty much nails what it has to, and nothing more, and hits a really competitive price point, I am comfortable giving it a hearty, hearty recommendation for somebody who wants to buy a Christmas present or just is a kid at heart and wants to fly a drone. It's a lot of fun and I would highly recommend checking this thing out. As you can see, my brother and I were having an absolute blast getting to play with this drone. And if you're part of that target demographic I mentioned earlier, then this is an absolute no-brainer buy especially for the price. I hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, please hit that like button, get subscribed, and drop a comment for what you want me to do next. I love reading those. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.